I'm actually headed down to the James River. This is the James River vlog uh, for Road to the All-American Series, guys. So James River, uh, I'm pushing my way down here now um, to get a little bit of practice in before the actual tournament. All right, guys, some fun facts here. This is uh, me practicing for the James River. I managed to get a few clips out there on the water. This is actually my first time ever in a tournament using bibs. Um, I've never used them, really had no idea what to expect when I got them. And honestly, I think it kind of messed me up a little bit um, just because I'm not used to having them on. Um, I do like the space to give. and got lots of like pockets and stuff, but definitely not something I'm comfortable fishing in. Practice is a little tough. Uh, Manage this one keeper here. Uh, Manage a few other fish throughout the day, uh, which is, you know, pretty good. I was promising. It had some things that definitely came into play when the tournament started. So. All right, guys, just wrapped up practice here on the uh, James River. This is the VFL regional tournament. Shouts out to my buddy Big Man. He's been taking me out on the water today. I uh, had a pretty good time out there, enjoyed and learned quite a few things. So uh, regional starts in the morning, uh, launches at 7.30, and uh, I think I got something uh, worked up that I think I'm gonna be able to do pretty good with. So you guys can see we're here on the James River, out here um, getting prepped and ready for the uh, derby in the morning. All my stuff's up there. I'm about to go back home, get situated, sign in for the meeting, then turn around and come back out here and see if we can catch these fish. All right guys, just wrapped up my tournament practice and on my way back home, I had to swing by you guys know what it is. Angler's Bait and Tackle, also known as Central Virginia Outdoors. Pick me up some stuff to make sure that I'm ready to go for it tomorrow. So James River Regional Tournament starts in the morning. I'm about to go grab some food, uh, retie, you know, rig up a couple things that I think actually going to play tomorrow. I had to make a few adjustments after going out there today. I don't think, I think what I had would work, but I got to tweak just a couple things and then I'll kind of go from there. So hopefully that's what's in this bag. And uh, we'll kind of see from there, see how things play out tomorrow. But Again, looking forward to it either way. Have a good day out there and uh, see what I can do. So stay tuned. I'm here at uh, Kickback Jacks. We're having a little bite to eat and watching the uh, Lakers and the Warriors play. I think it's a replay because my Lakers definitely got mopped up yesterday. So watching a replay. But um, the vlog continues. We got the meeting coming up at 7 o'clock at 6, 6.40 or something like that right now. And like I said, the meeting's coming up here soon where we get our partner information and all that good stuff. You guys know what it is, rocking that Omega Custom Tackle out here, uh, all over. Just uh, had a good day out there in practice. Um, found some fish, got some stuff kind of dialed in, and I got a, made a quick stop by uh, Angler's Bait and Tackle or uh, Central Virginia Outdoors to pick up the last few uh, pieces that I needed. And uh, after the meeting's over, I'll get ready to go and be ready to rock in the morning. So, hey, good morning, guys. Here from the James River. Um, so, you guys, I don't know if you can see, that's pretty foggy out here. Uh, I'm on the water in the boat. All rigged up and ready to go. Uh, it is pretty cold, guys. I'm prepared for the cold, but uh, it's pretty cold. And uh, unfortunately, this morning started out a little interesting for me, but I'm still here and um, I'm gonna try to make the most of it, guys. So stay tuned. James River BFL Regional, day one. Float number 28 doing at 3 30. Let's get it. All right, guys, we're headed to weigh in. Uh, this is day one of the regional on uh, James River. Uh, headed to weigh in now. Um, interested to see how this is going to shake out. See if we can sack them up and get tough across the board. So uh, we'll see. We'll know that in just a few minutes here. But either way, had an awesome day uh, out on the water. Had a good time. Enjoyed itself. And um, looking forward to day two. See if we, what we can do. Right now, I got to figure out if I'm going to go home or if I'm going to stay with my buddy on a houseboat and not get in the car at all. And I got to figure out what I'm eating for dinner because I'm starving. Uh, Blueberry bar did not get it done today, so I'm gonna have to find something else to eat. So uh, stay tuned, weigh in coming up soon. Gonna grab some bags and see if we can figure this out. So, let's see if I can it. all right, guys, headed to grab some bags out here now. Uh, we're one of the early flights, so I uh, should be able to get some bags and get weighed in relatively quickly here. So, stay tuned. I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, just wrapped up weighing in at the uh, James River Regional uh, VFL. And, uh, guys, uh, I had uh, two fish for, like, 3.7, something like that. Uh, nothing crazy, but uh, still can still have a pretty good day tomorrow and get myself in uh, where I need to be. So, my bad. Mm -hmm. Slide out to me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, guys, that's uh, kind of where it shakes out right now. Um, like I said, two fish. Uh, five pounds is sitting in the top 10 right now, five, 12 or something. Guys are still coming. It's obviously still got a lot more fish. I was on the first flight, so um, so my three, my three, seven, something like that is uh, 
Got me sitting decent, I think. I don't think I'm out of it, but I definitely probably need a pretty good day tomorrow to try to get in, uh, you know, inside that check cut range. So we'll see. Um, I had a good day out there, had a good time, caught some fish, uh, caught quite a few fish toward the end of the day. I did what I felt like I needed to do. So, um, you know, with what was available to me. So uh, I had a good day. My boater, awesome guy, man. We had a really great time out in the water. Really a lot of fun. Uh, and that's one of the key things about this deal, guys. Like I said, uh, you can kind of be stressed a little bit about, you know, how things go, or you can choose to have fun with what you have. Um, and then let the fishing be the fishing, right? Fishing gonna be what it's gonna be. Um, I had a good time, I had a good time. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow to see what we can do. Had a pretty rough start to my day, really rough start to my day. Wasn't even sure I'd be standing right here talking to you guys right now. So um, it was pretty bad uh, from a start of my day, but either way, I'm still here, uh, still rocking, and we're gonna keep on going and see what we can do. So stay tuned guys, as always. Uh, Day two, coming up. All right, guys, day two, uh, tournament morning. This is the BFL region out here on the James River. Uh, as you guys can see, looks like we're headed towards another fog delay, uh, unfortunately. But today I do have a later boat draw and we got a later check-in time. So we still should be good on time, um, at least getting some extra time. Yesterday, we kind of got the short end of the deal by having the fog delay, having an early draw not being able to get somewhere good at a good time and then having to kind of piece it together for the rest of the day um today we got the later draw so hopefully we get a little bit more time uh because to be honest with you yesterday we kind of left them biting they were still chewing um and we were out there having a good time but i'm uh, i'm rigged up i'm ready i'm at my uh, boat here uh, getting situated ready to put that in the water here soon and i'm gonna kick this day off so stay tuned day two bfl regional james river i may film a little bit on this one as well while I'm actually out on the wall, I may film a little bit on that. I may get my camera set up and whatnot and try to see if I can get a little bit. Uh, the James River BFL Regional Tournament, day two. Um, very soon, day two, let's go. All right, guys, here we are, day two, uh, BFL Regional James River. And we are on the water in the morning. But as you guys can see, we are not going anywhere. It's almost 8.20, 8.30, something in the morning. And you guys can see behind me. Yeah, you literally can halfway see in front of your face. It's kind of weird, but it's okay. Fog delay. Again, um, today we do have a late check-in though. Um, so we'll get a little bit more time than we did yesterday, but uh, fall delay right now. So stay tuned, fall continues, but right now there is not much going on other than fall and the sun trying to poke its way through, so. All right, guys, we are off the water here today. Uh, I am now grabbing the uh, truck and trailer uh so that we can head off the water and uh go weigh the fish guys i did manage to catch a couple fish so i'm gonna hit the stage again today and kind of see where things shake out but it it's definitely was a lot tougher not tougher actually it was actually about the same amount of toughness um today so um yeah Pretty tough, but not bad. So like I said, they managed to catch some fish and uh, we'll get to go across the stage. I'm curious to see how, kind of how things are playing out right now. Today was a much tougher fishing day, which is kind of weird because it felt like it's supposed to be getting better. And it just never, never did, never got better. Um, bite never turned on. Um, little window of about like 15 minutes here or there where you could get a bite, 15 minutes and then like nothing. And then 15 minutes and then like nothing. Um, where you get a couple tugs, couple tugs. I, I know I missed maybe one, but I don't know what it was. So there's that. Like I missed one, I'm not sure what it was. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. So um, this is really weird why this is taking so long. There's four trailers up here and I'm waiting in a line of people to get out of here. All right, guys, we are here um, at the BFL Regional James River waiting in line. It's a long bag line waiting to get our bag to weigh these fish. Um, got like two pounds and kind of really ready to get up out of here. So um, <laughs> had a good day. Glad the, uh, honestly, I'm glad the season is over. Because, I mean, personally, uh, <laughs> No disrespect to the fish, but I'm ready to get up out of here, man, and, and go home, uh, get something to eat, and uh, relax. So stay tuned. I keep the vlog going. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we are in the uh, back line with the fish. I took a look at these. Uh, took a look at the giants. Take a look at these giants, guys. Yes, these uh so about to go weigh these in uh, i had three fish i mean two fish yesterday for three pounds five ounces got two fish today uh i'm gonna see what they weigh probably two pounds total um so we'll see uh stay tuned guys as always um 
we were in the line. A few people left in line to weigh in, so we we'll come see how it shakes out. But either way, had a good time. Thankful as always to be out here and uh, go try to see. All right, guys, looks like I'm the last one to weigh in. I ain't never did that before. Last guy at the tanks. <laughs> All right, guys, just finished the weigh in. Uh, ended up with two fish for not even two pounds. Uh, two of the smallest fish I think I've ever caught in a tournament in my life. So, uh, <laughs> oh, man, guys, the season is done. I'm done. Uh, we're going to go back to Frenchburg. We're going to eat some dinner. And... Um, gonna put these bras and reels away for a little bit guys but stay tuned for some more videos i got more videos coming guys i got some other stuff i'm gonna do obviously still gonna be doing some fishing but um yeah we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh go ahead and relax for a little bit guys and uh enjoy this time off so stay tuned as always thank you again i'll catch you guys on the next one peace james river peace all right, everyone, just wanted to wrap up my day uh, for the James River BFL Regional Tournament. Like you guys know, all season I've been doing this vlog to try to see if I can qualify for the All-American. I know it's very difficult to get there, uh, but I feel like as I put up uh, earlier, if you aim for the moon and you hit the stars, I mean, you're still doing pretty good. So I try to set my goals really high, uh, not unattainable high, but just high. You know what I mean? Just, just high. So that's what I tried to do with this one is set my goals high. And I did that. And unfortunately, I gave, my, I gave myself two chances to qualify for the All-American, uh, two regionals, and in one, I finished good enough to get a check. The other one, I finished uh, about middle, a little bit under middle of the pack, I guess. It was like 180 some boats there, and I finished 100 in first place. So not even close to a top six. Um, managed to catch fish both days. Not a lot of fish at all. Not the size of the fish at all. Uh, James River was fishing completely different than what any time I've ever been there. Um, every time I've gone, it's been lights out. Either, you know, my boater will be whacking them, I'll be whacking, you know, something will happen at James River, but this time it just, it wasn't, and it just, it didn't pan out the way I was hoping for, but you know, it is what it is. That's fishing. Uh, you learn from, you, you, you keep on moving forward and you keep it going. Um, but right now that's not what's happening. Right now I'm not moving forward. I'm not keeping nothing going. Right now I'm relaxing. The season is over, the All-American, I did not get there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, this off season, I gotta make, you guys are gonna see some way different things from me next season. I've already been, had some meetings, some conversations, things like that, as far as what my plans are for next season. I'll be announcing those in another video, so stay tuned for that. But um, my plans for next season, I'll be announcing another video. Also, have I'm gonna have a 2022 season recap. So basically I'm gonna go through my whole season pretty much kind of tournament by tournament and break down kind of what happened. Uh, I won't go too much into detail because I've already done a bunch of videos on them, but I will kind of go through, you know, some ups, some downs, some pros, some cons, things like that, things I learned, uh, different things like that. I'll kind of go through all that in the video uh, in like a 2022 season recap kind of video. So I'm excited for you guys to be a part of that and see from that. Also, I want you guys to tune in. I am going to be starting this year a co-angler podcast now i say co-angler it's going to be i'm calling it the co-angler chronicles but it's going to be co-angler boater take your pick it's going to be all things related to fishing so how to get into tournaments what to do when you get in the tournament uh stuff to bring what not to bring uh tips for co-anglers tips for boaters lessons learned from boaters lessons learned from co-anglers i'm just gonna, I'm gonna hammer everything in this podcast guys so uh you guys don't want to miss that i'll have some special guests things like that so Coangler Chronicles. Follow me on Instagram. It's called Coangler Chronicles. Be sure to check that out. I'm gonna give you everything you need when it comes to tournament bass fishing. I, the, we ain't talking. Pretty much, we just gonna be talking tournament bass fishing. I'm gonna gear it specifically to tournament bass fishing. Um, that's kind of what I'm gonna do. Occasionally, of course, obviously fishing is fishing, so you're gonna talk a little bit about some fishing. But that's what I'm gonna do. Podcast is gonna be coming. You can expect some episodes here relatively soon, like within like two weeks or so. I'll have this thing up and running. It'll be available on all platforms. It's gonna, you guys, I'm telling you, you don't wanna miss this. It's gonna be pretty good. You're gonna love to see some of the special guests I have. Some of the conversations we have is gonna be pretty funny. So you guys don't wanna miss that. But um, as far as the James River, finish that up. Uh, and I'm also gonna be announcing my plans for next season as far as what I'm fishing and as far as who I'm rocking with next season. Cause it's gonna, like I said, there will definitely be some changes. You guys will start to notice that here very soon. It's gonna be some changes. I've had some new companies that I've started working with here late in the year that you're gonna start seeing some more of. There's some other conversations I've had, things like that. So you guys will see all that. It's coming up soon, so I'm keep rocking with me. Uh, just because I didn't make the All-American this year does not mean that we're done with fishing, but I am definitely 100% going to 
There's no more move forward, keep pushing, keep going. None. No, no, I will not be doing that all this winter. I know that's everybody's motto and what they keep saying, like you got to keep, no, 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 no. I'm going to relax this winter and this, I'm going to relax. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to enjoy time with my family. We're going to enjoy everything possible, just like I've been doing all year long. I've been locked in on my fishing, but there's a balance that you need to have when it comes to doing this. Um, there's a balance you got to have, and I'm just going to leave it at that. There's a balance you got to have. And if you fish and you got a family and kids and stuff like that, you know what I'm talking about. You got to have a balance. You could be a maniac if you want. I don't suggest it. So I plan to enjoy myself. Obviously, I will be doing plenty of studying and researching and stuff like that, but I'm definitely going to take it easy and relax here and enjoy myself this off season. And I don't do hunting, so I won't be doing, I won't be in a deer stand or anything like that. I'm going to be spending my time relaxing and enjoying myself. And also, I'll, I'll be working again soon. So I'll be pretty much spending a lot of my time working and then relaxing after work. So pretty much what I'm going to be doing. So uh, James River, uh, thanks again. Wasn't nearly as fun as the time before. So you definitely moved down my list on my favorite fisheries. Uh, Potomac's still up there. No disrespect, James River. And I think I only got to visit you one more one time next year. So <laughs> all good. I don't got to worry about you. Kerr Lake, here I come. Uh, hello, Kerr Lake. Hello, Smith Mountain. Let's 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 get it going. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited for my next season. And hopefully you guys may see if everything goes away as we to go, you guys will see me in the front of the boat in some of these BFLs here soon. So all these comments I get and all these people that got stuff to say about when I make videos and I, I express myself and talk freely because I'm allowed to do that. Uh, everybody's got something to say about my opinion on boaters. Y'all, and uh, again, they always forget that I am a boater, but that's okay. Just keep forgetting I'm a boater. 100% give all go honor and glory to god man for safe travels and safe journey uh things got pretty interesting for me out there with james again this tournament i wasn't even sure if i was going to fish day one i literally was about to just call it off because i was not feeling well and i was gonna just wrap it up day two we almost didn't even get in the water to start the tournament so i'm like oh boy so you know i had i battled through quite a bit of adversity like i said when i read these comments about people that are like you know that's fishing that's this no it's not that's not fishing that's not fishing. All all the stuff that happens to where you can't even get on the water, that's not, that's not fishing. Fishing is when you get on the water and you get out there and you actually get a chance to fish. Not getting to the ramp, not part of fishing. Not part of fishing. Not when it comes to tournament fishing. That's not part, that's not keep your head up stuff. That's fix the stuff so you can actually go fishing. That's what that is. It's not power through. It's fix the stuff and then go fishing, okay? So anyways, it's yours truly, Bass and Furious. I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay tuned. Um, also, nice work to my buddy, John Robinson, Safu, and Travis Waterman. They all made uh, top 12 at the James River. So just because I ain't there don't mean I ain't supporting the homies. So hopefully y'all knock it out the park. Hopefully all three of y'all go to the All-America and that would be awesome. And I'll be right there cheering you on, hoping that you guys do well. So huge shouts out to them. And huge shouts out to my buddy Ricky. He was right there. He finished in 14th. You need to be top 12 to go to day three. He finished in 14th. So Ricky was so close. So shouts out to Ricky. He called him. Travis, Safu, John, all these dudes out there, they caught him. They got on him. There he did good. Their boaters did good. Like every, it was a good day for everybody in the boat. They had a good time. So hats off to them on making it work and making it happen. So stay tuned. Always more videos coming. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.